Hey everyone! So today I'm going to be talking about NYU Greek life. So this video has been highly requested to go more in depth on NYU Greek life. There aren't a lot of videos out there about NYU Greek life, so I really want to try to answer any questions you may have and just really share what it's like to be in Greek life. So this video is specifically going to be for Panhellenic sororities at NYU. I won't really be touching on the fraternities at all. I don't know enough to talk about them in a whole video, so this will just be directly for sororities. So first off, I would just like to talk about what a sorority is. So sorority is a group of female students at a university or college, specifically for for social purposes. That's more the textbook definition of a sorority and it goes way beyond that. It just really helps build your community at a large school and even a small school. You find a place you can call home, you expand your network, there's volunteer opportunities so you can really get back to your community and just meet people all across your school. So there's seven sororities at NYU and each has roughly 100 to 200 members. So I'm just gonna list them off, I'm gonna read them. Alpha Epsilon Phi, AE Phi, Alpha Sigma Tau, AST, Delta Gamma, DG, Delta Phi Epsilon, D Phi E, Kappa Kappa Gamma, Gamma, Kappa, Pi Beta Phi, Pi Phi, and Zeta Tau Alpha Zeta. So I'm part of Alpha Sigma Tau at NYU AST, but I'm going to keep this as unbiased as I possibly can and really just try to stick to facts. So the size of Greek life at NYU is very small. It ranges from about 7 to 10% of the student body. Even though that sounds really small, it really doesn't feel that way when you're a part of it. As soon as you join Greek life, you start to notice how many people are really in it because when you're walking across campus, you see people wearing their letters and you're just starting to meet people at all the events you go to and you realize how tight the community is and how much it really is on campus at NYU. I like that it's not the entire student body because when it's that way, it's almost like a pressure join versus this is completely like on your own. Either way, if you join or don't join, you're gonna have a great experience at NYU. Now I'm going to talk about the rush process because it is very different at NYU than any other school probably in the country. The recruitment interest form is down below. If you are interested in rushing, I highly recommend it, but the link will be down below so you can sign up. I'm going to talk about rushing, what it was prior to COVID and then what it's going to be like this coming semester. If you're watching this a different year in the future, you know both sides. <laughs> so first, pre-COVID, it starts during the school year. It's not like before, it's not a whole week, it's on the weekends. So it is two weekends long and you're assigned a Rho Gamma, which is a disaffiliated sorority member. The reason why she disaffiliates is so she's completely unbiased during your process and she can give you advice and guide you through the whole thing. My Rho Gamma was so sweet, look out for you, meet with you, bring you food. So your Rho Gammas are a great resource. You also be provided a t-shirt which everyone wears on the first day, which is just a really great way to see how many people show up and it's a souvenir you get to keep for your experience. I knew nothing going into Rush, like literally nothing. I personally wanted to join a sorority no matter where I went to college, but when I got to NYU, it was actually conflicting with another thing I had going on that time and it just, the timing of a lot of things I was going through just didn't seem right. The night before, it just like didn't feel right that I wasn't gonna do it and I literally, not joking you, quickly rushed, changed, went to that first meeting. I'm so happy I followed my gut because it's one of the best things I ever did. I'm just saying like, trust your gut, go out, for Rush because you'll never know what it's like. I had nothing planned, no outfits, nothing, like literally so unprepared. So it's not super stressful, it's not scary. You don't have to freak out about what you're wearing. Just be yourself because if you're not yourself, you don't even want to join a sorority that's not accepting you for you anyways. So since we don't have physical houses at NYU, that we use the student center, which is called Kimmel, and they, each sorority gets its own room on different floors that you go into and it's all decorated. It's actually kind of nice because then you don't have to walk in between houses, I guess. You just walk up and down the floors, but that's basically how we do it at NYU since there aren't houses, because we're in the city. First round is round robin, which every PNM potential new member goes and meets every single sorority. So then you'll drop one sorority and then you'll move on to sisterhood and you can see up to six at this point for 35 minutes. Then you're gonna drop two sororities that night and then this is when the next weekend starts. So you'll wait a whole week, which is really frustrating, but honestly, it just like kind of erases from your mind, go to classes, don't really think about it. And then you'll continue again on the Friday. So this is philanthropy and you'll meet with up to four sororities for 45 minutes and then you'll drop one that night. So the last night is preference where you can meet up to three sororities for an hour. And then that night you pick your final two. So you'll rank number one and number two. And then that last Sunday of the weekend, it will be bid day. And that's where you'll get your bid from your sorority. So that's how sorority usually is and then now I'm gonna to touch about how it is this year with COVID. So there's gonna be two phases this year. The first phase is gonna be hosted by Panhel and you'll meet all the sororities. This phase is completely online, completely virtual and you're just going to Zoom with every single sorority and this part is mandatory. And then phase two is gonna be hosted by the orgs themselves and this is invite only event. This phase is also all online and completely virtual but it's not mandatory since it is invite only and then you'll also receive your bid which will be virtual. Now I hope that makes sense 
Obviously things might change based on how COVID's going, but as of right now, I think it's just all completely virtual. And I think it's gonna remain that way. So that's a little bit about the rushing process. Eurogammas will also fill you in on more information, but that's just a quick general overview. Now I'll go back into more about like, once you are in your sorority. I'm gonna to touch upon the living situation again. We have penthouses, which are in Lafayette. It's a dorm building. On the top level of the building is sorority penthouses. So I believe five of the sororities have penthouses, which basically are about five to seven girls, I wanna say, can live in a penthouse. You just talk to your sorority about it. And a lot of sororities host their events there. And then the sororities that don't have penthouses there will sometimes get apartments in groups together, live together across the city, anything like that. So that's more the housing situation. It is very non-traditional. Now I'll touch upon the time commitment now obviously this year your time commitment will be a lot easier it's no commuting you go to any event you want via zoom so i wouldn't stress about the time commitment this year but normally it's is a big time commitment like i just believe everyone should go to events and participate because if you're going to join why not be a part of everything and take all the opportunities i would make sure you have the time to dedicate but at the same time you can be involved in so many things and still be a part of the sorority i know so many girls who are full-time working also being a sorority being part of club so it is very manageable i just would make sure to leave some time for self-care being in new york everyone's just always trying to push themselves past their limits i think sometimes social aspects take a decline for nyu students but i think if you can really manage your time sorority is a great way to really build that social community and have some fun while you're at nyu and just meet amazing girls and sisters. So the time commitment is honestly what you make of it and I wouldn't stress too much. I think anyone with any type of schedule can really make it work. So now I'll talk about dues. So dues are the payment you make per semester to your sorority. It ranges everywhere, but I wanna say NYU is pretty affordable comparatively to the rest of the country as what I've heard based on my friends at other schools. Even though they are more affordable than other sororities does not mean they are cheap by any means. It is an expense you do have to pay and you really have to factor in if that money is worth it to you for what you'll get back. I personally thought what I'm paying per month is completely worth the experience I'm having and the amazing opportunities that come from being a sorority. So in your dues, every sorority depends what they include, but you do get merch, you do get to be part of Big Little, you get to go to events such as formal, free food sometimes. For me, I think it is very worth it, but obviously that is a per person situation. Now events, there are plenty of events to attend. They range from going to formal, which happens each semester at the end of the semester, you get all dressed up. You usually go to a really cool event space in New York. Now being more in New York, that's the best part because formals get to be at amazing locations that don't happen everywhere. Some frats host theirs on a boat, same with sororities, like there's so many different options and venues to choose from. There's also things like Greek week, which happens in the spring, and it's all sororities competing against each other with fun skits, uh, sports, raising money to see who wins at the end of the day. It's like a big spirit week for sororities. There's also events within your sorority, which could be study hours, social hours, where you just meet up and talk at any NYU building. And there's always plenty going on every week that one will fit into your schedule at least. And so it's a great way to show up, meet some girls, go out to brunch with them, and just connect with your sisters. So as far as parties go, parties really aren't everything. Like that's not a reason to join a sorority because you're at NYU, parties are gonna happen happen anywhere, anytime. Because yes, there are exclusive sorority events where it's just like a sorority and fraternity mixing, but th that shouldn't be the reason why you join a sorority because there's so many opportunities throughout the city anyways. It's very different than a traditional school where you don't have the whole city to you and that's like your only form of socializing. They aren't everything, but they are fun. I did make a video last year on my recruitment experience being on the recruiter side, and I will leave that video linked up here and also in my description. That really shows you what it's like to go through recruitment. Make sure to sign up for recruitment using the link down below. I know it is very different this year, but it's still a great way to get involved, especially when everything's already online anyways. If you have any more questions about sorority life at NYU, feel free to either comment them down below, DM me on Instagram, I'll be more than glad to answer them. Being in Greek life at NYU completely changed my experience. It made it so much fun, gave me a group of girls that I could call home and just showed me some of my best friends. So yeah, that's pretty much everything before I keep rambling on about Greek life at NYU. It is very different and there's not a lot of information out there. So hopefully this will start to put more information out there for everyone who's interested because I always wanted someone to walk me through it too when I was interested in joining. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.